the routine announcement on an airplane to put on your oxygen mask first in case of an emergency before helping others is a call to action, a call to love and honor yourself and to make yourself a priority. You cannot give what you do not have. Self-care and self-love is essential to living your best life. It's on that note that I welcome you to Amazing Grace with Bosse. Today, we will focus on why it is important to put on your oxygen mask. When you hear the word oxygen, what comes to your mind? Well, we all know that we need oxygen to survive. If your oxygen level becomes low, then your life is threatened. Usually, when you board a flight, you will see and hear the flight attendant demonstrating safety procedures. You will often hear them say, should the cabin lose pressure, oxygen masks will drop from the overhead cabin. Please place the mask over your mouth and nose before assisting others. And that is because when you are airborne, the air at high altitude is thin and oxygen levels is usually very low. So aircraft have a system in place to ensure the cabin air levels are normal and compatible with human life. So in an emergency, passengers usually have just seconds to put on their oxygen mask. If you help others first or refuse to wear the oxygen mask at the right time, you will begin to lose your ability to focus and in no time you will pass out. In that announcement, the most important message in it is the fact that you have to put on your oxygen mask first before helping any other person, including your own child. Yes, your child. Because the consequences of not putting on your mask first can be very fatal. If you do not put on your oxygen mask first, you will lose consciousness and you will be of no use to anybody. I cannot count how many times that I've listened to that announcement to put on my oxygen mask first. But on this particular day when I boarded a flight, I heard it again and I had this epiphany when she said, put on your oxygen mask first before helping others. Something clicked in my brain. It took on a new meaning for me. It was a light bulb moment. And I said, hmm, okay, I get it. If you're the kind of person who says yes to everything and everybody and fail to make yourself a priority, in no time, you'll be stressed out and it will eventually take a toll on you. The truth is, at the end of the day, when you die because of stress, because you have neglected yourself, life will go on. And guess what people will say? Including some of the beneficiaries of your sacrifice, selflessness, and your benevolence. They will say, huh, oh my show, meaning what a pity. Some of them will say, ah, oh I had so meaning I feel so sorry for him or her. Some will say, chai, she just walk, walk, labor, suffer for nothing, come die like that, meaning she labored in vain. As we say in Nigeria, that is not our portion. That is not your portion. We reject it by fire and by force. So make sure you put on your oxygen mask, not just to live, but to live well to the glory of God. Our loved ones and the people we serve needs us at our best. So always remember to practice self-care. Pamper yourself a little. Find what brings out the best in you and go for it. And make sure you show up every day that you have air under your feet. Unfortunately, we were never taught how to put ourselves first. 
and how to really love ourselves and take care of our needs. We were mostly taught how to please others. As a result, we often set our priorities wrong. We don't know how to nurture and love ourselves. I think we can learn a few things from the millennials and Generation Z. They are different. It's all about them. They cannot even understand, you know, the sacrifices we make and the stories of long suffering. It annoys them. They understand what it means to put on your oxygen mask first, even though sometimes we see them as too selfish and too self-centered. So it's your responsibility to make sure you have enough oxygen to survive and navigate the twists and turns that you will encounter on this earth. It doesn't matter whether you were taught or not. Now you know better, you do better. Also remember that you can't afford to put the responsibility of providing your oxygen on someone else 100%. It's not going to work. They are human beings like you. They will fail you. If someone else offers you some oxygen, take it with pleasure and be grateful. But do not give any human being the power to hold and regulate the oxygen that you need to survive. If you do, they will give you the oxygen at their pleasure and withdraw it at their pleasure. And when it is withdrawn, guess what will happen? You will suffocate. And I'm sure you don't want that. The key, therefore, to ensuring that your oxygen level is intact at all times is to love and honor yourself. Loving yourself involves a whole lot. It's up to you to determine what loving yourself means. It's different for everybody. Find what it is for you. Learn to invest in your physical and mental well-being. Mm -hmm. Try not to miss out on what gives you joy and happiness. You have to be intentional and deliberate about your well-being. Do you have your oxygen mask on? Or are you grasping for breath? Are you suffocating? Let me tell you, life will go on without you. Yes. So, resolve today to put on your oxygen mask first and prioritize self-care. So, when next you hear the flight attendant reminding you to put on your oxygen mask first in case of an emergency, remember that it's the call to take action and to love yourself so that you can have enough love to give to others. And it's a wrap. That's our show for today. Thank you for watching. Until I come your way again, make sure to put on your oxygen mask.